Hi, I'm Dave Anderson for American Handgunner. The 22 Magnum is a cartridge I like very much, with both rifles and revolvers. This Smith & Wesson Model 51 kit gun is one I often carry on camping and hunting trips. Recently there has been considerable interest in the 22 Magnum as a cartridge for compact revolvers for personal defense. Both Hornady and Spear have 22 Magnum loads especially designed for short barrels. The Hornady load is a 45 grain FTX bullet, while Spear loads a 40 grain gold dot bullet. The claimed velocities are from short barreled revolvers such as this Smith & Wesson and this North American Arms mini revolver. I tried both the Spear and the Hornady loads over the chronograph from a variety of barrel lengths. The chronograph used was this Ehler 35P. First up was this Smith & Wesson 351. Next up was my Smith & Wesson 51. This is my old Ruger single six. To see what a longer barrel would do, I used my Winchester 9422M. To get some idea of bullet expansion, I fired rounds from various barrel lengths into paraffin blocks. The numbers here show remaining bullet weight and the percent of original weight retained. Penetration in the paraffin blocks was very similar with all bullets tested. Compared to this 38 Special Air Weight, the 22 Magnum has less recoil and holds two more cartridges. Keeping all the shots in the A zone at 5 yards, there was very little difference in speed. I'm probably not a good test subject as I shoot a great deal. A shooter not so used to recoil did find a significant speed advantage with the 22 Magnum. Although I personally prefer a minimum 9mm or 38 Special for personal defense, these short barrel 22 Magnum loads performed as advertised, and they gave excellent accuracy and reliability.